What is up everybody? This is Brian the Toyota guy over at Fred Anderson Toyota in Asheville. Today I've got something really cool to share with you guys. I was not sure we were actually going to get one. Well, I didn't think I was actually going to see one and be able to sit in one. Uh, but today behind me I have a 2024 Tundra 1794 Special Edition or the Saddleback Edition. Let's go take a look. All right, so we'll just start right here at the window sticker. I'm actually surprised on this Moroni. It doesn't have Saddleback or Special Edition listed anywhere on here. Uh, kind of strange, at least I can't see it on here. But you can see the specs on this one. This is, of course, the iForce Max. It's based off of 1794. You can see the color codes and everything. Uh, not a whole lot in the way of packages. Uh, we're in the Southeast, so you can spec stuff like Toyo Guard, uh, paint protection, uh, a few things there, the screen protector, the cables, stuff like that. This one does have the spray and bed liner. Um, but you can see MSRP uh, from Toyota on this one is $80,270 uh, with our addendum at eighty two. So get what is up? This is Brian from the future. Just wanted to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to let you know I have a correction to make with this video. Also a new addendum for pricing. Um, so we actually upgraded the tires. Uh, the KO2s do not come standard with this. I'm going to mention that probably a couple times here in the video. Um, so we did have those put on here. Um, I don't know exactly what tires they come with normally, uh, but they are certainly not as aggressive as this. And uh, from what I was told, uh, they look like Prius tires. Um, so good thing we got that updated. So this is a new addendum from where it was before. Um, it also didn't have things listed right. It had extra floor mats and stuff. So this is updated. So actual price here at the store is 82629. Getting that out of the way. Uh, for those that aren't aware, um, again, this is a Tundra 1794. Um, it's a special edition, otherwise known as the Saddleback Edition. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to be the expert on the partnership here, uh, but the partnership has been with Toyota and Saddleback for apparently a few years. Um, they used to have some Saddleback Editions of the previous generation Tundras, I think even going back to like the late aughts or early teens. Um, so it's definitely been around for a long time. I guess every few years they'll come out with a collab or they'll take the 1794 or similar truck and uh, dress it up with all the Saddleback uh, stuff, uh, which I'll go over here in a minute um, and make it a special edition. So this is actually one of 1500. I do believe the reason why we got this one is uh, for, I think every dealer, at least in the Southeast, was supposed to be able to earn one of these. Um, and then potentially some extra ones might flow in later, um, but that's probably gonna be all that we'll have. So that's why I'm saying I'm pretty excited to be able to sit in this and play around with it for a few minutes but um, this one I believe is number 434 of 1500 uh, which I'm actually glad to see the Toyota's learning and they're actually starting to number of these things uh, but you can see the way this one comes it's got uh, no chrome on it everything's been blacked out it's got the uh, Toyota it's basically the same wheels you get on the XP package uh, this one does have running boards uh, that come standard with this package as well as the uh, KO2s which I'm a huge fan of. So it's a uh, 285 60 20. So I think that's like a 35, maybe a 34 or something like that. Um, so it comes with that. These also do have Fox suspension. Um, looks like it's got the TRD bars. But you can see up here in the fender well, there's your Fox suspension. So this has about a one inch lift and I'm guessing that's to accommodate the slightly larger tires. Um, but it's a really good look. Uh, it's not that much different on the outside. Um, this is, uh, all these have the iForce Max, which is the uh, hybrid twin turbo. Um, so it has the more powerful engine. You can see here on this 1794 badge, the special edition here, it has this, uh, like wood grain pattern on the side there, as well as on the tailgate. It's actually got a unique uh, embossed logo. You can see it right there, 1794 limited edition. Um, so that definitely stands out. But for the most part, the exterior doesn't have a whole lot that tells it apart. I mean, those that know might know, but beyond those couple badges um, and the tires that it comes with, which honestly are pretty popular tires, uh, you wouldn't really be able to tell this is that much different uh, on the outside. But what really matters is the inside. So let's go take a look. All right, so in this video, I'm not going to spend too much time on the 1794 specifics. I just want to talk mostly about the uh, Saddleback Edition here, which you can see the leather on the seats is completely different. This is an actual, I guess it's a rawhide or cowhide or an actual leather um, instead of the synthetic soft text that Toyota normally has. You can see that same 1794 Edition. Um, and they've done something really interesting with this leather. You can see it has this 
more rugged look to it where there's all these rolled or pinched seams all the way around all these pieces on the grab handles here all the way around it there's an extra amount of leather that's wrapped around here you can see the same thing over there and then here's what i find unique toyota might be actually learning to number their special editions you can see right there it says number 434. Um, this has that same kind of wood grain pattern um, that's on the uh, logos on the outside <clears throat> same on the inside i actually think all the 1794s have that wood grain but all of this leather here has been upgraded it definitely has a very different feel and it doesn't come through on camera but it smells fantastic in here if you love that smell of like fresh leather um you're gonna have that here this is a fully loaded 1794 so stuff like the 360 cameras the heads up display which is probably not going to show up on camera um, you've got that the full digital display here a heated and ventilated seats all the way around a locking differential um, so this one's basically got everything but when you look at the back here this is where i feel like the saddleback condition kind of stands out so these back pockets saddle back i keep calling it saddle bag but that's mainly because you can see the way these pockets are it's unique it's definitely a look i'm not sure if the old ones have the same thing but instead of having traditional pockets back here you actually have these like saddlebag pockets much like on a motorcycle or of course on a horse um, so that's really unique back here you get the same treatment on the seats back here with the uh, you can see that leather and again i'm not the leather expert so somebody that knows can correct me and tell me what this style seam is but it looks really good um, i feel like there's extra padding in these um, it definitely looks and feels like a king ranch in here um, or i think it's the big horn or Laramie or whatever it is on the Ram side of the house that has the same type of material going on um, But you can see really padded here on the uh, ar center armrest as well as having this really nice stitched and uh, Riveted I guess handle here really super solid quality feel and then same thing right here on the grab handles So absolutely gorgeous back seat uh, Staples with the 1794. I think this is the same on all of them. They've always had these really unique uh, floor mats what I love about them is when you get in on them, on this carpet insert, they have the logo on here. It's probably not going to show up that great, but the logo on here actually says 1794. And specifically what I like about them is those little rivets or whatever you want to call that hardware actually looks like uh, shell casings, like the back of a shell casing. Um, all the 1794s have had that. Actually, this might be special floor mats for this truck because I can see where it says limited edition on there. So they've always had the shell casings and stuff, and maybe the fact that this has this uh, rope look on the outside of it that could be one of the differences there but super nice interior again a quick look at the features here you've got heated and ventilated seats in the back of course the panoramic roof as well now you can't talk about the saddleback edition without talking about the accessories that it comes with so you can see here is the uh, set of leather bags that you also get when you purchase this vehicle um, so you can see this really nice travel bag right here of course it's uh, the same material that's what the seats are made out of and yeah i'm not gonna lie it smells really good i'm sure this bag again i don't know anything about this company here but i'm sure this bag is a few hundred dollars but you also get inside this this looks like they say owner's portfolio so my thought is this must be a special bag if you want to use it for the owner's manual and the glove box and what's neat is these all have toyota part numbers so for those that are curious to maybe buy these on your own or just price them out um i've got the part number for this bag somewhere i think it's in the box itself that i took these out of but there's the part number for the portfolio you also have this small pouch which i thought there was going to be a different pouch from what i saw um i think this was on there but i thought i saw a long tube pouch as well but i don't know what you'd put in this but i guess you put whatever you want into it i don't know sunglasses wallet put it in the truck um, this is just a shoulder bag shoulder strap rather for this bag and then these are really unique. I don't want to take them out because they're still obviously in the package. Again, there's the part number for it. Uh, but this is the key gloves. And again, I wish the sticker wasn't covering it, but uh, the key gloves look fantastic. It's got the same logos on it. Um, just a unique thing. Um, oh yeah, there's a little, yeah, see it says tool roll on here. That's one of the bags I was looking for. And there is a, I'll just go and grab it. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed the box. This all came in. You can see this box actually comes serialized to the truck. And in here, this is, I'm guessing, the tool roll that they're talking about. Uh, but interestingly enough, wait a minute. Hold on. Maybe this is actually in the truck. Aha, I found it. 
So this was what I was looking for. I don't want to take it out because it's strapped all the way in there, but that's the tool roll that I was looking for. I didn't know what it was for when I saw it in the photos, but now that I see it, I get it. So I don't know who thinks you got to have your jack tools in that bag, uh, but there they are. And that explains why in the back here, you just have the original one that you would have had with the 1794 um, just tossed in here. So it's nice that Toyota's actually already put that in place for you. Um, so that's in there as well as these other accessories. So pretty cool setup. All right, guys. So 1794 Special Edition or Saddleback Edition. What do you think? Um, I'm willing to ask the question. How many of you actually knew this existed or knew it had the little accessories, the little bags and stuff with it? Kind of unique. Uh, most of the people that I work with here had no clue what this was. I spotted it in the detail shop as it just came in off the truck apparently yesterday. And as soon as I saw a limited edition on it, I knew exactly what it was. Um, so kind of unique to see. I'm glad I was able to spend a few minutes with it and share it with you guys, uh, but kind of unique. Um, I really do wish, I'm gonna try to see if the managers can actually print out a sheet and stick out the window for what this thing actually is because nobody's gonna have a clue what this thing is or, or why it's priced the way it is. Um, but it's great. I mean, with the KO2 tires, the Fox suspension, all the accessories, the leather interior, and of course this just being a fully loaded 1794 in its own right, uh, fantastic truck. Um, if I was buying a Tundra or if I had $80,000 to spend on a vehicle, uh, this would be a no brainer for me. I know not everybody loves the brown. I'm a sucker for it. I love it, so I'm here for it. Uh, so as always, guys, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate it if you guys uh, could uh, subscribe to the channel. I know I don't update really regularly, um, but that's because when I do upload a video, I want it to have some sort of a meaning or special purpose. So something I really want to share with you guys uh, versus just uploading you know, garbage every single day. So it doesn't really fit the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys could help out with subscribing, liking the video, sharing it around, leaving comments. Uh, you guys have been really great in the comment section to have the discussions with on what's going on with Toyota and all these new vehicles. Um, I'm gonna have some other videos out soon. There's a lot to talk about with the new 4Runner, the Land Cruiser. If you guys have not been paying attention, um, online's been going crazy with the all the stuff. There's new Camry information. Uh, there's a lot of new vehicles that are coming out over the next few months. So uh, stay tuned for that. I've got some stuff I'm gonna go over with you guys as well. Kind of just give my thoughts on it. I'd love to have you guys weigh in. So as always, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.